What's up, ladies and gentlemen? If you're looking to make pasta lie in your black iron pot, stick around. I'm going to show you how to get it done. Get your pot. Heat it up! On a medium-low heat, I start off with a little bit of cooking oil just to get the bottom coated. This six and a half gallon pot and burner came over from the PierrePartsStore.com. So if you want to get one, head on over. Now that the bottom is coated, I drop in six pounds of cut up Boston butt pork that has been seasoned with some kosher salt. I now move it around a little bit so that most of the meat can either touch the walls or the bottom of this hot pot. As it begins to brown up, I then begin to move it around a little bit so that all sides of the pork can brown evenly. I cook this pork for 25 minutes and then I add six pounds of cut up chicken thighs that have been seasoned with paya seasoning. I then begin to toss the chicken around so that it can also brown up with the pork. The chicken is going to release some moisture which is going to help break up some of the browning on the bottom of this pot. Once all the meat is browned up, I then remove it with a slotted spoon into a bowl off on the side. There's going to be some remaining juices in this pot that's going to be perfect for browning up our sausage. I add six pounds of smoked sausage and I cook this down for about 10 minutes so that the sausage can get nice and brown and create some flavor in this pot. Once the sausage is browned up evenly, I use the same slotted spoon to remove the sausage and put into a separate bowl on the side. And we're going to add this perfect grease for our trinity. Next, I add 10 diced up yellow onions. You want the onions to just sit on the bottom for a little while. You kind of scatter them a bit, but you don't toss them right away. Next, we add 10 diced up sticks of celery and 5 diced up bell peppers. Now that this is sat for a little bit, we can toss it around. Look at that color right there. See, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to release the moisture from the onions and pull up all that grut from the bottom. After cooking this down for about 10 minutes, I add 1 fourth cup of paya seasoning. And then I add 16 beef bouillon cubes. Booyah! <laughs> and next, 1 fourth cup of minced garlic. Of course, you got to scoop that out. So now we just keep sauteing this down until it gets nice and brown and very tender. After cooking this down for roughly 30 to 40 minutes, I begin to add a little bit of one and one fourth gallon of water. I add just a little bit here so that I can break up anything that's kind of sticking to the bottom of this pot. Once I've got that incorporated, I add in three 22 ounce cans of cream of chicken soup. One, two, Right. And then we get that incorporated. Now this is not something I would add to a jambalaya, but for a pasalaya, this little soup right here brings about a great consistency. I then add the rest of the one and one fourth gallon of water. The water will thin everything out and really help the pasta soak up all these flavors. After adding all the water, I add one fourth cup of hot sauce and one fourth cup of browning sauce. And y'all know some of y'all get offended, but it is what it is. I blend that in and the colors really start to shine right here. Next we add five chopped up bunches of green onion. And then from here we can throw back in that pork and chicken. Look at all them juices. You got to be very careful right here though. I don't want to go spilling none of this meat. I then drop in six pounds of bow tie pasta. That's three pounds there and three pounds right here. And from here, we're going to raise the fire because we got to get this to a slight boil. I begin to gently toss all of this around, trying not to break any of the pasta. But I want the pasta to submerge into the liquid. Once I see that much of the liquid has risen to the top, I then top it off with my smoked sausage. Smothering all the pasta like this with the sausage is going to help the pasta cook evenly. I scatter it around a little bit so that all of it is covering the top. Give it a little bit of a pat there. And as I see this thing coming to a boil, I then cover it up, Louisiana. lower my fire to a simmering heat, and then I will let this cook for 20 minutes. At this point, everybody's just got to wait. This is where you sit around and shoot the breeze, drink a few beers, and let the good times roll. Look at that little flame right there in that Florida leaf. After the 20 minutes is up, it's going to look like this. And I know what you're thinking. Man, it's all liquid. Nah, son. Give that thing a nice little fluff right here. And there you go. Look at all that pasta right there. Look how beautiful that is. All of this is going to kind of thicken up. 
and it really will not be runny at all, trust me. But we don't want to eat just yet. We want to turn the fire completely off, cover it up, and let it sit for another 10, maybe 8 minutes. Once that time is up, then you know for sure all the pasta has completely cooked. Oh my goodness, look at that right there. That is just deliciousness. So we give it a final stir here, you know, just to make sure everything is blended evenly. But to tell you the truth, man, this stuff is ready to go. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So we grab a spoon and some bowls, and we just tell everybody to line up. And the kids, of course, they jump in first, man. You know, they hungry. Great thing about this little pot, man, is that every kid can come serve themselves. There's my little Zoe right there getting her some pasta laya. Look at Sophie, bro, doing it big. And my little Juju, you know, she get that little serving because she love Betty. <laughs> You know, everybody gets what they want in their bowl. You know, some people even do it with a little bit of attitude. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> My boy Coach Dupre ain't playing, boy. He getting that big bowl. Miss Zenda, my buddy Ryan's mom, she was fixing some to-go plates to go feed some people in the community. I thought that was really cool. She went go hand out to some of the neighbors. All in all, man, everybody enjoyed it. That's my buddy Ryan right there, throwing it down. Hey, you don't normally eat. I get that some people, they don't like pasta live, but you know what? For me, two thumbs up. It's a good comfort food that brings people together. If you want to make a pasta live like this on a smaller scale, just get my cookbook over at CajunNinjaBook.com.